Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website on January the 1st, 2023 for the Bring Back My Bars. And of course today I have Mr. Quinn. This is BBMB 2023 January edition with Mr. Quinn. Hello everyone. It is nice to be back here on Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. And I am looking forward to this uh, this wonderful time here to uh, go through some of these bars with my wife and... I do this because I love my wife. So at any rate, uh, let's get to this, Elizabeth. Good job, honey. So our first one, which I have not smelled in forever, is called Woodland Suede. And I will hand it to Greg first. Why don't you go okay. ahead and sniff while I read. Sensi says that Woodland Suede is retreat to a tranquil wooded wonderland redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. Mm. Good, bad. I like it. Yeah, you would. I definitely like it. Mm -hmm. Anything well, anything that really smoked it uh, It smells Christmassy to Ooh, me. Ooh, this is good. This is clean. Like, it's a clean, like a clean. It's very clean. Yeah. You know. For a. Yeah. It's yeah, good. I, I like it. Okay. I like it. Yeah. I miss uh, Autumn or somebody, some Rustic Lodge, and this is kind of like that. That is really good. Okay. The next one is called Green Tea Smoothie. What do you get out of that? Actually, I Green should read it after smoothie. he sniffs and then we'll talk. Oh, man. You guys, I have the hardest time trying to describe things like her when it comes to scents, but I mean, I like it. It's it almost... Is it kind of got a little minty to it, or is it just, is it me, maybe? Oh, this is like really clean and fresh. I've never smelled green tea smoothie, and these did just come off of a, a blizzard outside off the truck, so they're cold. Oh, this is good, you guys. All right, so this is what Sensi says. Green tea smoothie is a splash of cool green tea against bright ginger. That's what you're picking up. Peach, nectarine, and cranberry. This is really nice. Mm. It's like clean and sweet, kind of spa-like almost, but... Oh, it's good. I like this. This is green tea smoothie. That's a good one. All right. Next one is called cucumber lime. Cucumber lime. Let's see. Hmm. That's another interesting. I like it. Okay. I don't know how to describe it, but I like it. That's okay. I'll let you describe it. Ooh, yeah. This is fresh. This is... Ooh, you know what? I've been saving Bamboo Yuzu. If this is a better performer, that one might get the boot and I might put this in its place. Cucumber lime, ripe cucumbers, tangy limes, and a handful of green leafy mint. Now, I don't get a lot of mint on cold, so I think this is just more... Oh, this is nice. This will be really, really good for January and February. I'm really pleased with this Bring Back My Bar crop. It's really good. All right, melon and apple granita. Melon and apple granita? Mm -hmm. What's Granita? It is a frozen slushy, kind of like a slushy snow cone kind of a deal. This doesn't do much for me. I don't, I'll let <laughs> yeah, you I smell don't love it, it either. But I'm just telling you. I don't just... love it either. I know this one. Melon and apple Granita. In the hot, granita. hot days of mm. summer. Yeah. In the hot days of summer, I don't mind this. Because it's got, let's see here, crisp apple and sweet melon surge with sparkling citrus. It's got a lot of, like, cantaloupe or honeydew. I think it's cantaloupe. It's okay. It's not my favorite. But people vote this back a lot. All right. The next one is coconut palm. Coconut palm. I am looking forward to this. I've heard about it for years. So, coconut palm. So Like, pa coconut palm tree or something's going to be kind of tropical. Okay. So, I, I would assume this can be coconut. Anyway. There's something else in it too, though. You know what it reminds me of? Uh huh. This if you is... get this, I'm going to be so proud of you. This reminds me a little bit of. This is going to be kind of strange, mm -hmm. but so the coconut's heavy. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of some of the chapstick. Chapstick, coconut. No, chapstick. no, no, no. Look, like, like, just smell it. You'll mm -hmm. see what I'm talking about. It's like, just like you know, it. like the chapstick when you first get it. Have you smelled it yet? Oh, I've never smelled this ever in my life. So think of the chap a little bit. He's right. A little <laughs> tiny bit. But like, in a good way. Yeah, it's... Oh, this oh, is... Oh, wait, let's see. Smell the bottom. What? Can I, I, should we see if it works? <laughs> no, it, no, it doesn't work. Chapstick. Okay. 
<laughs> this is why I ask him on the channel, you guys. All right, so Sensi says that coconut palm is a blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli, which you don't like. With yeah, I'm not a patchouli kind of. Patchouli. I just, I don't know what it is. It's just. Oh, so I like, like this. This is good. I love patchouli. So it's kind of funny. Yeah. Although but. I do like the, what's the name of the bar that I walked into one of my uh, carpet cleaning clients? Oh, White Amber Antique. No patchouli in that. Oh, okay. I thought it was actually the husband's cologne or something when, so when I walked good. in and come to find out it was it was uh, a bar that my wife sold uh, yeah, one of our clients. Yeah, to this lady. So. It's general catalog bar, White Amber Antique, if you're not familiar with Very it. good stuff. Crumb right? Top. Crumb Top. Is that what it's called? Yep, crumb called top? Crumb Top. Like like the crumbly topping on a streusel or something. It's a bakery smell. Yeah. I've never smelled this either. Is that a your mother kind of a scent? It smells like... Does it smell like graham cracker to you a little bit? Um, let's like, see. Like a little bit of like a certain kind of a graham cracker, a little okay. tiny bit. Yeah, it's buttery. This is nice. This is gonna be kind of like oats and honey. I'm gonna compare them. This one though is butterier. But yeah, I, I, I get the graham cracker. Okay, crumb top. A perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert. So this will be an excellent mixer, you guys. And I've never melted this, so I don't know how strong it will be. It's a beautiful, subtle, buttery bakery scent. Really good. Okay, next we have Flower Shop. Flower Shop. Yeah, very springy. Yes, I like this. Okay, real fresh, right? Very fresh, but I don't know how to describe yeah, it. Yeah, well, it doesn't need Sensi doesn't even but describe I, it. I like it. <laughs> they just like say it. like walking into a flower shop. That gets it them off the walk, hook. Yeah. Ooh, whoa! This smells like the florist's cooler of roses and ferns. Yes. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Since there are no notes here, I say red roses and florist greens and baby's breath it smells like a bouquet mm. like you got from the floor shop that's amazing all right the next one might be hubby's favorite because coffee is totally his thing oh i love this is, coffee oh perk me up i keep forgetting to show you guys perk what we've got up. yep let's see what we got do you all like coffee i love coffee coffee is amazing i don't put anything in my coffee i love co coffee very strong and black i mm -hmm. like coffee mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. does it smell like coffee it doesn't have a heavy coffee right, smell i don't opinion. know if i've smelled perk me up in a long time oh, yeah it's just like a smooth it's... cup of this is sort of like folgers and it says there's um strong brew guatemalan coffee with just a touch of hazelnut that little bit of hazelnut's probably throwing you because you don't like anything he just like straight yeah. up black coffee this is good and we, we have problems with in Scentsy Land that coffee scents are rare. So you guys are going to be very happy to get this if you wanted a good coffee scent. So that's perked me up. Ooh, the next one is one of my favorites. Mm, I don't think called? he's going to like it. This is called Spiced Berries. Oh, yeah, show the camera. I, I forgot. Oh. Yeah, show, show them the cover. Yep. Spiced, Spiced Berries. berries. Yep. See that, everybody? Yeah. Okay. All right, Let's what do you think? Like okay. He's going to hate this one. No, I actually like you it. You like it? And it oh, reminds good. me of, there's sim definitely some heavy cinnamon in here. This is a very... It's very spicy, yeah. Smell it. And we're going to do this one. I like this. This is good. Oh, good. This I'm is, so glad. This is good. But it, to me, there's definitely a strong, I'm going to use what my wife, a term that all of you <laughs> wonderful, no. and it is. sensey consultants and YouTubers, it is a note. I've learned that it is a mm -hmm. note. Okay. It, it carries the note of cinnamon. All right. Well, let's see if Sensi agrees see. with you. Oh, it's, I know they do. They're better. I... Let's see. Nope. They don't? They're cinnamon. Oh, no, it's not. You know what it is? Spiced berries is frankincense and myrrh. I it know. It is. But I smell okay. cinnamon. And then uh, decadent berries. And the other day, I told you guys that this reminded me of the arrival of well, the Three Kings because of the frankincense and myrrh, and I was going to melt it on Christmas Eve, and I am. What, what this I, is so what good I mean by nice. What I mean by cinnamon, it's like... It's, it's heavy spice. It's got like, you know, like yeah. the, the toothpicks. Like, oh, okay. That's kind of what... All right, uh, so we'll say there's cinnamon in there along with the frankincense and myrrh. Listen, if exactly. I'm right, please put something in the comments, <laughs> any of you that watch right. this video. Yeah, and you know what spice Tell me if you, said, if you smell so a little good. bit of that, that cinnamon. Okay, there, so. now, I am very excited for this next one. I've missed it. This is coconut pumpkin pie. Coconut pumpkin mm -hmm. pie. Let's see. 
I'm going to get my whole coffee drunk this time because I'm not doing all the talking. I like it. I just have mm-hmm. a hard time describing it. Yeah. Well, this was a scent of the month in September a long time ago. And it, it gets a little stronger when you warm it. This is good, you guys. Oh, yeah. Coconut. And it's got that smooth, almost like pumpkin pie filling. Oh, I've missed this far. This is probably going in my club. May I interrupt Coconut. you for a moment? Yeah. I think you are very interesting in describing scents. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> I don't know good if anybody who can describe know. a scent like my wife. I didn't and I'm not ask being him to biased. This, I'm just saying she's uh, very intriguing to me right. when she describes things that let me, make let me say what, not very much what sense Sensi, to me. Sensi says about glad. this, okay? All right. Fall's most treasured fragrance enjoys an unexpected exotic touch. Oh, boy. They're really working this one. Okay. Pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, maple sugar, and coconut shavings. That's all there, and I know I love this bar. I'm very happy to have it back. Okay. Oh, you might like this one. You might not. This what? is another coffee-based scent. This is hazelnut latte. I've never smelled this, so let's see what happens. Hazelnut latte. Hazelnut latte. Is that better than the Perk Me Up? Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is definitely a little stronger. It's stronger? Opinion. Okay. Little, all right. Stronger. I'm excited about this because I want, personally, in my club, a coffee, but not just straight coffee, a coffee latte type scent. So I hope this one will finally fill the bill. Oh yeah. Oh, I love the creamy bakery smells, you guys. Oh, this is yummy. Mm, I'm happy, I'm happy. So this is what Sensi says about hazelnut latte. A light sprinkling of cinnamon, light fluffy top on the latte, gives you a kick needed to, uh, have some much needed energy. Okay, that is a weird description. Hazelnuts and latte and coffee and milk. That's what I'm smelling. And then they say cinnamon. I don't know if I get cinnamon on cold, but this is beautiful, you guys. Mmm, this is good. I'm going to be melting this one right away. Okay, now the next bar is the one out of all of these where when I saw the list, I was so happy. This I have missed so much. The beautiful Autumn Blaze Maple. It is my favorite. I it know, is called hands down. Autumn Blaze Maple. It's my Autumn favorite. Blaze Maple. Out of all of these, I've missed it so much. I like it. Mm-hmm. I just have a hard time describing yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a weird one. This is sort of a love or hate bar. And if you've never smelled it and you get it, oh, oh yeah. And you don't care for it. I understand. It's spicy for sure. Oh, it's good. All right, Sensi says, a bountiful harvest of crisp apples, earthy pumpkins, golden maple syrup, cinnamon, and a ribbon of smoldering oak. It's the oak that puts it over the top for me. Oh, man, this is going to be great with toasted acorn and oak, you guys. This is probably going to be two, maybe even in my bi-monthly, because I need a stash. I'm going to be melting this like crazy next fall. Probably, truly, my favorite of the whole round. Autumn Blaze Maple. Okay, next one is... Quiver. Now, in my memory, I don't like this one, but let's see. Quiver. Yep. It's, it's not. I don't know. Maybe my scent has changed my preferences over time. It doesn't really have much going really? on. And I don't. Okay. I don't smell much. I remember going on this there. being heavy, kind it's of just, musky old. Lady maybe it's perfume. cold. It just does not have a heavy. Oh, no. okay. It seems a little dull. Innocent to me. vanilla flower, warm sandalwood, and sultry tuberose in a seductive scent meant to cause a shiver of delight. My goodness. Okay, I see what he sees or smells. I see what he's smelling. It's it's kind of flat in the clam. It is. I think this one, if I remember right, warms up very strong, and it's kind of like cashmere. I'm not talking about cashmere pear. It's an old formula called cashmere, where. It's kind of old lady boudoir. I'm going to see. Some people love this. So this is Quiver. I know it got voted back because it has a following. We'll see. Okay, next one is Apple Press. You're going to like this. He loved Johnny. Johnny Appleseed, so I think he'll love this. Absolutely. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> good. Yep. I like this. this it's really fresh good. apples with a hint of rose. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is so nice. Now, Johnny Appleseed has a better throw than this. But this one's a little tiny bit more complex. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, Apple Press is a winner. I'm quite familiar with this, so it's just good. I don't even need to read the description. So, all right. Next one is Pear Blossom and Cucumber. Everybody voted back all these fresh scents, which is good for January, but I've never smelled this one either. Pear Blossom. Oh, yeah, show the, show the camera. Okay. Yep. 
Well, yeah, you got to angle it a little. Pear blossom and cucumber. Very good. Okay. 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 okay there That's you go. Good. <laughs> It's definitely clean. I, yeah. I I am having a hard time, you guys. So Let's see. Yeah, this is like old school Bath and Body Works clean. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna like this as much as a couple of the others that are in the similar profile. Let's see what we got here. Pear blossom and cucumber. It's a blooming beauty of spring. Resplendent garden nourished with delicate pear blossom, rain kissed jasmine, honeydew, and Meyer lemon smoothed by a splash of cucumber water. Okay, maybe when this warms up, I'll get all that. Right now I'm just kind of getting like clean cucumber, which isn't bad. It's just, I think that, I think a cucumber and lime, if I'm remembering right, I think I liked that one better anyway. So this one's okay. All right, now this next one, I'm very excited to smell. I've never smelled it and it's such an odd name. This is fried ice cream. Fried, fried ice, cream. ice cream. I've always been curious about it. This has another cinnamon type. Yeah, no, that's supposed to have cinnamon. But yeah. the other one that we... Hit, that was the spice berries. That also had, in okay. my opinion. Okay, there's cinnamon in it, according to Mr. Quinn. But hey, this one if you should. agree with me, let me know in the comments, Yeah, this okay? one is supposed to have cinnamon. I like this, but it's... Yeah, okay. I, I, I think the cinnamon here. I think the cinnamon in this Ooh. is close to the cinnamon in the other one. Oh, this opinion. is good, boy. My club is in so much trouble. <laughs> this is a great round, you guys. Ooh, yummy. Mm, this is kind of like the hazelnut latte, but with more cinnamon. Oh, that's nice. Fried ice cream. Vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. Oh, yeah. You guys really, really did a good job voting back all these bakery bars. So good. Ooh, next one is another one I'm so excited about. This is rum raisin cookie, and I know I love it, and I know I've missed it. Rum raisin cookie. It's Let's so smell good. this. So like Grandma's Kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you describe it. Yeah. Well, that's my job. <laughs> oh, yes. I've missed this. Almost as much as Autumn Blaze Maple. Not quite, but... Oh, it's, oh, it's got... It's got the rummy, raisiny, cinnamony, oatmeal-y goodness on the bottom. Oh, wow, you guys. All right. And this is a good performer. I remember that. Rum raisin cookie. Freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove. That's why I love it. I love clove. Y'all know that if you've been watching my channel. Oh, man. I'm so glad we got these before Christmas. What a gift. Uh, I'm going to be able to melt so many of these, and they're so holiday. Rum raisin cookie is totally a Christmas, like Christmas Day kind of a scent. Oh, it's good. Okay. The next one, ooh. Now, the next one, I hate. Probably the worst bar for me out of this whole group. It is Peppermint Rush. Peppermint now you, Rush. You might like this. Oh, I don't like it. It's so strong. It smells like gum. Like oh, a, yeah. Like the winter, like a... Yeah. Wintergreen. Something along those lines. Yeah. It's spearmint, super, like a spearmint. super strong. Like a spearmint to you? Like yeah. A, it's peppermint and vanilla peppermint. and an accord of freshly fallen snow. Okay, now, maybe I need to be fair. Maybe the bar that I had was old. This had, oh, oh, wow. Nope. Yep. Peppermint Rush. It's a rush of cool, icy, in-your-face peppermint. Now, the last bar of this that I melted was old, and I learned through the last round to bring back my bars with French toast. Not to be too critical of what might have been a bad bar. I will give Peppermint Rush a try, but he's right. It just smells like, like gum. And what I remember is this gets kind of almost medicinal for me, but we will try it. And my younger daughter will totally take this off my hands. She loves this kind of a thing. Okay, next one is, I'm so excited for this, Autumn Stroll. You guys know I love my fall scents. I've never smelled this, and I really was excited to. Oh, I keep forgetting to show you the bar. Autumn Stroll, sorry. Autumn Stroll. Let's see. This is like... Is it good? No. <laughs> No, it's, <laughs> is it's, it weird? You know, when you first smell it, it had a different smell than okay. when you smell it. Like, the clam. No, no, I'll let you okay. like okay. smell okay. it. When you first smell it, now, now pull okay. it away and I'll smell it again. Right. It smells totally different. Huh. This kind of reminds me of like a fall version of the spiced berries. It's good. If, when you first smell it, it smells different than when yeah, you smell it the second right. time. Okay, I honestly, it's hard this to one's figure a out. little bit of an enigma. Let's see what, uh, what Sensi says. 
Uh, autumn stroll. Amble under a bright harvest moon. Leaves crunching underfoot. Hmm. Peppery cinnamon. Mingling with dusky plum. I get the plum. And warm incense. See, I said it was kind of like spiced berries to create a spicy and comforting fragrance. This is like the fall version of spiced berries. Oh, I'm a happy girl. Oh, okay. I think when this warms up also, more of those notes will come out. Oh, it's good. It's good, you guys. But it's one of those that I think I'm going to need to warm it. It kind of in some ways reminds me of cranberry garland minus the cranberries. It's got, this is an older bar. It's got that older profile uh, and it's very comforting. I'm going to love this. So Autumn Stroll is a winner for me. Okay, last one and then the special five that the president picked. Um, let's see here. The last one in the regular top 20 is Cranberry Muffin. Cranberry mm -hmm. Muffin. This might be really good. I haven't smelled this in a long time. Might be good for Christmas Day also. I like it. Okay. Yeah. He likes it. Sensi says, bursting with bright cranberries, enveloped in a buttery brown sugar batter with nuances of walnuts and toffee. Oh, you just like it. This is amazing. Well, you didn't pop it out of the clam. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, man, that that is good, you guys. Woo I am so happy. The bakery in this bunch is phenomenal. We haven't even gotten a sticky cinnamon bun. This is great. Everything in this description, the brown sugar batter, the walnuts, the toffee, the cranberries, it's all there. Fabulous. Okay. We've got these extra bonus five. Now, I know I love this one, and I've been voting this back for like five years. Sticky cinnamon bun. This is the first well. It didn't even come back. It was the president that picked yep, this one. Cinnamon. <laughs> but I smell, do you like it? Is this it like, is the third bar uh -huh. that I have taken a... Cinnamon guess. Sniff. Well, that one's pretty, pretty obvious when it's called sticky cinnamon bun. What else is in it? Take it, take it out, honey. Pop it out I and just, do the back. Pop it out. Yeah. Here, let me. There we go. Smell the back. It's all the same it's to me. It's all the same to you. Okay. Cinnamon. It's all the same to him. Cinnamon. Okay. All right. Fair. Fair enough. It's a very cold bar. It's cinnamon. And cinnamon. And cinnamon. Yeah. Well, there's the sweetness. <laughs> um, sticky cinnamon bun. Cinnamon and sweet icing with warm nutty nuances. Now, when you put this thing in the warmer, at least back in the day, it is a great performer. It's kind of like um, pumpkin cinnamon swirl, minus the pumpkin, obviously. I have been voting, trying to get this thing voted back for a long time, because this is a fabulous bakery bar, like so many of these are. Okay, the next one, I have never smelled this either. I'm very excited because vanilla smells like coffee smells. We don't really have very many of them. This is called vanilla cream. Vanilla cream. Yep, vanilla cream. Okay. Is it kind of subtle? It's not super heavy. Okay. To me. And I'm, I'm assuming this will just be like a nice creamy vanilla scent. Yeah, it's very similar to Simply Vanilla. Yeah, this is very much like Simply Vanilla, which is great because I don't have enough of that in my club. I go through it too fast. So I could add some of these. All right, vanilla cream, French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. This is good, guys. Uh, I don't know if the performance will be different than Simply Vanilla, but that is what I would totally compare it to. Maybe slightly more rich. Like your Simply Vanilla would be your plain vanilla ice cream, and this might be the French vanilla, but they're very similar. Okay, we have three left. We have a flirtatious. Flirtatious, okay. <laughs> there you go. Don't know how flirtatious smells, but hey. I don't love this one. I know it. It's just kind of eh. flirtatious. Kind of, eh. See, that's that's what doesn't make sense to me. Is it too subjective? No, no, no. What okay. doesn't make sense to me, and I'm sure some of you will be able to relate to this when it comes to smelling mm -hmm. and defining the smells. Like yeah. you call something flirtatious, how do you, how do you like? Why? Like, like, like I, I'm, I like to connect like the name of something with what it well, smells like. So if you say like, 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 um, like mm. cinnamon, you know, cinnamon roll or something, for example. That makes sense to you. Yeah, because I'm going, okay, here's a cinnamon roll. This mm -hmm. is the name of the bar. Oh, it smells like a cinnamon roll, but flirtatious. And then you're like, what's flirtatious smells? I just don't know. Well, what this, this is why. So I've smelled this before. It's nice. It just doesn't throw very well. So I'll put it in my bedroom. This is why, honey, because it wouldn't sm it wouldn't be a very good title to say green apple, grapefruit, and amber. That's what's in it. 
So they decided that, that more like a perfume. You know what? what? I think you would be a fabulous, like, sensi bar, like... Namer? Namer. My That's wife, a hard job, no, you guys. I you, don't think I'd want it. I know, but you would be amazing, because I just think you're... I love adjectives and descriptives. You guys know that if you watch she's my just, channel. But. Some people are just gifted, and I'm not saying this because it's my wife. She is very unique. And how... <laughs> and I, and, I, I mean, hope when, you beat said in a good way. I, I don't mean, know. <laughs> I even get interested in some of these videos, and it's like, mm -hmm. I'm not big on this sort of thing. Like, this is not my personality, per uh, se, but... I enjoy watching Elizabeth Scenes and Sense every I love now and then. So. All right, we got two left. Now, the last one, the very last one, I don't know if it's going to be as bad as people say, but it's sort of like this time around, um, what was that bar with the pear in it, the, the casting spells. Everybody that I have heard say Pima Cotton is awful, we've saved it for last. It's the very last bar. First, though, we have Mediterranean Spa, which I think my husband will like. He loves clean, fresh cologne. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. That's okay. good. Now, I don't know if I've smelled this. It's been years if I have. Oh, this is nice. Yes. Relax with this smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. Again, they're getting away with telling you nothing about the scent notes. I wonder if these are older, older bars before they were more careful about that over the years. I should do some research on this batch and see how old some of these really are. This is really nice. Kind of reminds me of our glacier water from uh, August. But maybe a little more rounded, a little more powdery. It's very good. So this is Mediterranean Spa. Very nice. And Pima Cotton. So, oh, there we go. Have fun. Supposedly this is not this a nice... Last this is the Yeah, this is supposedly... And then we can have a little fun towards the end, maybe? Like two minutes. Two minutes. We got to keep it under 30 minutes or my computer gets grouchy processing there you go. it. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not my... No, it's not that bad. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah, I no. just... No, it, the it other doesn't... people say this is bad. Oh, do they? Okay. Now, I don't do laundry smells. It would be hilarious. I don't know if when you get this in the warmer, it's going to be a problem. I kind of like this. So, Pima Cotton, a light, clean blend of lilies, freesia, and jasmine. Yeah, okay. So, I will have to melt this to see what goes on. I don't like clothesline. I don't like clean breeze. They give me a headache. If this doesn't, go figure. So, I like this, at least on gold. So, those are all the bars. All right, and... two quick little stories. Okay. I'm going to, now my wife doesn't know that I was going to ask this. So, oh, no. I'm going to uh -huh. give a very short, very short Christmas memory mm -hmm. that I remember as a child. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to give a very short, quick Christmas okay. memory. Just share yep. it if you would. Oh, first. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. What I don't okay. even know what it is. So just, me first. Yeah, right. just think of whatever comes to your mind. Right. What okay. is the? So one of my favorite Christmas memories is actually in second grade. We had a very nice teacher who was always doing crafts and things with us. It's the woman that you cleaned, Mrs. Brockett. Okay. By the Rock Church. Oh, okay. Okay. And she introduced me to pomanders, and I made one for my mother. I don't think she still has it. We spent days in second grade pushing cloves into, I think it was apples in that particular case. And that started my love with, if you guys watch my channel, you know, uh, the cinnamon and the Christmassy smells. So that is a fun memory for me. And that same year, I was in a, a Christmas play where we had to make these elf hats out of crepe paper. Do you guys remember all that? And you made the giant collars. And I made a wreath out of crepe paper for my mother. And just, it was a very happy Christmas time at school for me that year. Okay. So a wonderful memory that I had uh, growing up as a child in the city of Detroit. Uh, we didn't have a lot of money growing up as kids. And... Um, I remember um, we were approaching Christmas time. I was in elementary school, and um, it wasn't going to be that great of a Christmas because the money wasn't uh, wasn't there um, uh, for that particular Christmas. So it wasn't going to be. It's going to be more more of a mild Christmas for us that year. And my dad at the time he would play the lottery, and yeah, my dad won the lottery twice. You guys like in one week he won the lottery, and back then it's like I think it was, you know. Is like you you would win like three hundred something dollars or whatever. But back you know in the early eighties, late seventies, that was a lot of money. You know, so but I remember my dad winning the lottery, um, you know, twice in one week. And I remember it was the best Christmas we ever had as kids. And uh, so I thought that was a memory. And I want to throw one other one in. And okay, some of quick. you know um, that in the past, um, when I was a young uh, child, and I think it was first grade, um, our the same home that we lived in at the time um, caught on fire. And 
my mom got us kids up out of the, in the middle of the night, and the, the smoke filled the house. And it was um, during winter, right before Christmas time. We were put out of the my sister's bedroom window, and we escaped the fire. My dad ended up jumping through the picture window, and our, we had a chihuahua named Chipper at the time that followed him out the house. And um, but we easily could have died in that that fire that night. Um, and uh, but I remember even to this day just escaping that that situation. But it was right before Christmas. And um, we end up getting a, another home until this one was, you know, refixed, what have you, uh, restored. And um, I just remember having a Christmas in another home um, that was a, a little tiny house that we rented. But, you know, even though it was a difficult time, I am thankful that, you know, it was something that could have been very tragic. And so the greatest gift that Christmas really is that we all escaped the fire in the middle of the night. Um, all of us siblings got put out the window in the middle of the night, and uh, you know, and uh, we were rescued from the fire. So, I just wanted to share just a couple little little stories yeah. and memories. So, and thank so. you very much for being with us, you guys. And then I wanted to give a shout out to um, my my other Sensi consultant friend, Laura Whitfield. Um, I know that this is her first season without her husband and bring back my bar. They always did together. So Laura, Merry Christmas to you and I'm thinking of you and I wanted to just remember your husband, James, uh, for Christmas if you end up watching this. So God bless everyone and you have a truly Merry Christmas and I will be back with warm reviews on all of these right around January the 1st. Bye-bye.